Why the motherfuckers Mr. Mad up in this bitch coming at you? Pre-recorded than a motherfucker. So today I'm gonna show you how to take a PS3 that is on version 3.55 official Sony firmware version and jailbreaking so that you can run hacks, back up your games, run backups of your games, you know, all, the, all that good shit. First things first, you're gonna need a PS3 on system software version 3.55. If you have that, you're able to do this. If you do not have that, you cannot do this. Period. Point blank. That's it. So in order to find yourself a PS3 that's on version 3.55 or below, you either have to check eBay or if you want to invest in some type of hardware flasher, you could do that with these. You could do that with the original fat PS3s. You cannot do that with the Super Slim at all because there's a minimum firmware version required which the Super Slim does not support 3.55 at all. This one is a slim model. It's 120 gigabytes, but that's not going to be good enough. I want to update it. First of all, the hard drive. So I'm going to show you how to do that. This is the hard drive that I bought. It's the Seagate Samsung Spinpoint 1.5 terabytes. Got it off Amazon. It's like 68 bucks, bruh. Shipped to my door. So we're going to go ahead and install that. I'm going to show you how to install the hard drive. I'll do it on the slim as well as the fat one just in case you know you're watching and you got a fat. So first things first, just power down the system. I put the rubber band there because it's showing the Mac address and I don't feel like editing this shit too much, you know, because I hate editing. So just go ahead and turn the system off. Unplug all the wires and everything from it and then I'll show you how to get that hard drive out of here so we can swap it out with the new one. All right, once you've unplugged all that madness, you just take your console and if you notice, there's a little door up in the front here. Right underneath the console is also another little door that is hiding a little blue screw. You're just gonna take a regular Phillips head screwdriver and undo the blue screw. Set that to the side and then this little door here, just slide it to the side and pull it out. You're gonna see the sled for the hard drive. Pull that out and you have your hard drive here. So to replace it, you just need to remove these four screws and then take the hard drive out. We're gonna do that really quick. All right, once you remove the four screws here and just set them aside, make sure you don't lose them. Just pop this out like this and put in your new hard drive. This is the new Seagate. Slide it in the same exact way, replace the screws. Now that that's in and secured in place, pop this back in here, replace the door, and then replace the little screw here. Again, I, I use that Seagate just because it seems to be the biggest one uh, that can actually fit in a PlayStation 3 because it has a maximum height allowance. It's like nine something millimeters. That's a laptop drive and that's the only one that's really gonna fit in there or the Fat PS3. That's the only one that you can use that I've found that was big and reputable brand. So I have to show you really quick how to do it on the Fat console as well. If you have happen to have one of these Fat consoles, it's gonna be on this side. Uh, there's gonna be this little door here, just pop it open and then you see that same blue screw just unscrew this screw here slide out the little latch here thing and you can pull out the entire hard drive uh, same thing Th this one the screws are on the side here same process just uh, swap it out pop it back in and replace the screw and the latch all right once you got your new hard drive installed on your ps3 just set it aside for now we're gonna jump onto the computer and grab the necessary files we need for the jailbreak so you're gonna google this rebug r-e-b-u-g uh, it's gonna take you to this site called rebug.me you're also gonna want to google multi-man download jump on this first link here you're gonna download the multi-man base just download that you're gonna jump on rebug 4.81.2 with the cobra all the way at the bottom you're gonna see the files just go ahead and grab the Rex edition. Click that, click the toolbox full, download all this shit. You're gonna see the files here. The rebug is gonna give you a text file within that compressed thing, which is gonna give you a link to where you're gonna get this pup file. Just go ahead and copy and paste that into your browser and you will end up with this file right here. Rebug.4.812, blah, 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 all this other shit. I got me a SanDisk thumb drive, it's 128 gigs. i just pop that into your computer. You're gonna transfer these files over. So you got the toolbox, rebug, the multi-man base. In the meantime, make yourself a new folder title it PS3. Go ahead and jump into that folder and all caps update. That's where you're gonna put the rebug file once it's done transferring because you're gonna need that in the PS3 update folder. Because you swapped hard drives, it needs a firmware file to let you use that hard drive. All right, once that's done copying, now all you have to do is cut and paste this PS3 update.pup file. Just cut it, go to PS3, go to update and paste it right into here. And then you're gonna wanna rename this because it's just gonna be PS3 update dot pop 
and then just go ahead and eject your drive and we're ready to start the process here. All right, now that everything's hooked back up, you got your power and HDMI, you're gonna wanna get your USB to controller cable, plug that in as well as the USB drive into the slots in the front and just start up the PlayStation. So you're gonna have to press the PS button. It says it can't be run correctly, press start and select. It's gonna have to format the drive. So it's gonna check and then it's gonna start formatting. Just hold start and select for five seconds and it should start the update and format process. It's gonna be using the firmware file that's in your USB drive, which is the rebug. It's gonna format the drive first, then it's gonna load the firmware into the memory and should be jailbroken by that point. Give it a few seconds and it should start the format process. Now that this is going, let it get to 100% and it should do its thing right after that. Now that it's almost at 100%, should just restart and start the system software installation of the jailbroken 4.8, whatever the hell it was. So right here, it should just reboot. All right, so for whatever fucking stupid ass reason, I think it's because it's a 1.5 terabyte and not just the regular one terabyte or whatever. It got stuck at 100% formatting for a while. So I installed the regular hard drive that I got and I'm gonna try to update it with this custom firmware to jailbreak it. And then I'm gonna try to format the drive again and see if that helps. All right, let's see if I could just update to the rebug shit. So update via storage media. Remember, keep your internet off completely just in case I didn't tell you earlier. It's gonna check, so it sees the rebug on the USB device that's still in it. So we could just jailbreak it. I think that's what I needed to do first. Accept the user agreement, start. I think later on in the firmware, they, they allow 1.5 terabytes uh, to be used internally. Otherwise, I think it's a cap of one terabyte. Either way, at the very least, I'll be jailbreaking this 120 gigabyte drive, and then we'll see where we can go from there. Hopefully, I can install that 1.5 terabyte drive. If not, here's the fucking jailbreak video for a rebug and I'll go on with the rest of this shit. I do have to reformat the drive because to turn the system off and start it back up while it was formatted, it erased the drive, so it's not gonna be recognizable. So it's checking for the update data, which is on the USB drive. Same USB drive that was here from earlier. It's got the rebug shit on it, and it's gonna install the jailbreak. So I'm assuming since it's gonna be on the rebug firmware, hopefully it'll just let you use the 1.5 terabyte. I'll see you when it's done installing. All right, it reset itself and Pretty much in the middle of the installation. I'm assuming it's just gonna pick back up where it left off. There it is, rebug. So we're jailbroken right now. Now that we replaced the other hard drive with the 1.5 terabyte, once again, we're just gonna hit the PS button. It says it can't be run correctly. Hit select and start. It's gonna check the same exact USB thumb drive for the rebug custom firmware. And hopefully this time after it's done formatting, it'll actually advance to the installation screen and let you use the 1.5 terabyte drive. And then we can move on with this other shit. Let it format and see where we're at. All right, so we got to this screen, uh, hit start and select. It verified that the firmware was valid and now it's checking once again and it should start the format process. Fingers crossed here, this is the moment of truth and it looks like it is advancing. Kind of sped up a lot at the 80% mark. I mean, at least it got past that formatting screen which it was stuck on beforehand. You do have to jailbreak and I guess essentially update to rebug first before you can put in a bigger hard drive. At least bigger than one terabyte because you didn't have to do this with the one terabyte drive. So go ahead and hit the PS button. It's gonna check for your update data on the thumb drive that you put in. And we should be on rebug 4.81.2 on a 1.5 terabyte drive. So we got here, yes, hit okay, hit accept. It says do not turn on, okay, just hit enter. And it's gonna install this custom firmware onto your new hard drive. All right, as you can see, we are on version 4.81. It is rebug and we do have 1.2 and a half gigabytes available for use on our jailbroken PS3. So let's get to installing some packages here. Go to package manager, standard, yeah, right here. So we got rebug toolbox and the multi-man thing here. Let's go ahead and install this toolbox. Let it do its thing. That's the full toolbox. Install completed. Now we got that rebug toolbox. There's a lot of little features on it that you can further enhance your jailbreak experience. But the, the real meat that we're looking for is the multi-man. Multi-man is the shit that lets you back up your games and play your backups. So go ahead and install that. And now right here you have multi-man. So if you hit X onto that, you could see where we have all our shit. There we are, multi-man. Let's go ahead and get a game popped in here. All right, so here we got a copy of The Shoot. I'm gonna use this because I know it's a small game. It's like a gigabyte, roughly. Just pop it in. You're gonna see it on your screen here. It's gonna show up the shoot. You're going to hit square for game settings. And if you could see right here, you got the options to copy, delete, rename, update, test, and permissions. 
So we're gonna hit copy. Okay, so you have the option to copy to your internal hard drive, which is the PS3 HDD, or the USB drive that you use to install the rebug and all that other shit. The USB is good for actually backing up your games and like storing them on an external drive somewhere that way you have an extra copy of it nice and safe otherwise install it to the hard drive so right now just for demonstration's sake i'm gonna copy it to the usb drive so it says you want to copy the game from blue disk rom to internal external usb blah 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 yeah so it's gonna start copying it's gonna say verify data it should take i don't know this because it's small it should only take a little bit 19 minutes okay well whatever we'll wait and then i'll show you what it's like to install it so if you have let's say a folder or a series of folders on an external hard drive of all your backups and you accidentally delete them off your system I'll show you how to install them to your internal hard drive again so you can restore them or let's say for whatever reason your hard drive failed and you need to install these all over again you could do that let this process finish and I'll show you how to do that all right now that the game is ripped it took about eight minutes it didn't take the 20 minutes you're gonna get this screen just hit square that's what that little two brackets are supposed to be and you'll see that the shoot is probably can't see that it, it does say disk though and right below it it'll say USB if I remove the USB drive right now it'll disappear so I remove the uh, USB drive and as you can see it's not not there it's just a disc I can go ahead and eject the disc and yeah, as you can see nothing is on the thing anymore it's just refresh and then the toolbox from here you could copy it to an external hard drive your computer whatever you want to do keep an archive of it you know that way you don't have to go through all the ripping process all over again so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this back into the drive and it should show up as the shoot on USB. So if you want to go ahead and install it to your internal hard drive, it's the same process. You can load all of these up. Hit square and you can copy to the internal drive. So hit confirm. If you want to copy it, it should take the, the same amount of time. What was it? Eight minutes or whatever. And hit yes. All right, we're done with the copy. So now again, we got the shoot. So there it says USB and this one says hard disk drive. So now you know that it's on the hard disk drive. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the USB here. And you can see it's gone from the list here so now you just got the shoot on your hard disk drive you can play it verifies it'll jump back into the regular xmb media bar thingy and if you could see i go up where it says playstation 3 it should load the shoot so all you gotta do is press x again and it'll load the game so you could do this with all your games just kind of selects it and pretends it's in the cd drive but yeah it's working that should wrap up this fucking tutorial hope you learned something hope this helped you out if you have any more questions just you know comment below i'm usually pretty good with answering questions if you enjoyed this if this helped you just fucking like comment subscribe go ahead and share it with all your folks in them you know that shit helps me out it gives me incentive to make more of these tutorials as well got a couple other ones coming up soon stay tuned for that you know so that's about it maybe later i'll do a couple more tutorials i'll probably show you how to convert to a dex or whatever i don't know we'll see but uh yeah thanks for watching and uh peace out